Good morning. My name is Cid Pinto, and I am a master's degree student of pharmacology at Federal University of Ceará in Brazil. My presentation is about a bibliographic research of what I studied in my master's degree. And maybe today we have more questions than answers. The possible reversion of depression symptoms through the ayahuasca or oasca tea shows big promise in preclinical and clinical and social experience. However, this study doesn't propose Hoasca tea as a medicine sold in pharmacies. Hoasca is sacred for many religions. The intention of this study is to show that Hoasca tea is safe in health and disease. The title of my research is A Molecular Investigation of the Rapid Antidepressant Effect Involved in the Pharmacodynamics of Ayahuasca in Patients with Resistant Depression. Introduction. Let's talk about depression. Depression is an affective disorder. About the depression symptoms, we can say self-deprecation, loss of pleasure, and in extreme cases, suicidal thoughts. Today, treatment is difficult because medication are effective after two weeks and 40% of the patients don't show total remission. Treatment resistant depression making 10 to 30% of patients. So we can get the importance of an approach that brings a rapid and effective remission about the, about the pathophysiological findings. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNA levels, decrease in the neurogenesis, alteration in the HPA axis, and cortisol levels. Hoasca T. Hoasca T has proven to be very promising in some studies. Hoasca showed the potential to reverse depression episodes fast and effectively. Hoasca T is composed chacrona, psychotria viridis, contains DMT, and of mariri, banisteriopi capi, contains beta carbolins. Harmini, the major constituent of the tea. Harmaline and tetrahydroharmine. <coughs> okay. I'm sorry. Uh, in addition to the natural constituent of the tea, there are the major metabolites in the blood that may perform pharmacodynamic functions, like harmol, the major metabolite constituent from harmin, harmalol from harmin, methodus. This bibliographic review study used the PubMed databases in which ayahuasca and depression were used together as keywords, totaling 23 articles. Three articles were excluded because they were bibliographic reviews. Of the 20 articles left today, 
I will talk about six. Free, preclinical, and free clinical results. The results are in a sequence of preclinical studies and clinical studies. Preclinical studies, they analyze the beta carbolins in primary neuron cells cultures of the subgranulazon of the hippocampus, which is responsible for neurogenesis. Besides, they analyze one metabolite, harmol. The proliferation of stem cells was analyzed through the key I67 marker and proliferation of nuclear cell antigen, GPCNA. In astrocytos marker, G, in astrocytos marker, GF, AP, one did not have increased expression, it was harming. Although it's metabolite armo, and it uses the expression of GFAP showing the importance of analyzing the metabolites. In another study involved Harmin D. In another study involving Harmin the GFAP expression showed. Maybe it's harmful. So this study was done in mice with similar depression, treated with harmine. The result was a significant increase of GFAP in the hippocampus in CUS mice over the control stressed mice. CUS studies for chronic unpredictable extras, which is the standard rudence model. Analogous uh, to human depression, it's possible that maybe harmful caused this effect. BDNA DCX, a neuron splinter marker showed a significant increased level in normal and depression animals after the administration of harmine. When harmine was given after the administration of a specific inhibitor of astrocytes, astrocytes functions, uh, no significant increase were seen show that maybe harmine or barrel harmol works on the astrocytes. This study divided primates in four groups. One group, primates were given placebo. Group two, half uh, of health primates were given OASCA. Group, group three, primates with depression-like behavior induced by social separation were given placebo. G group four, a depression group were given OASCA. OASCA-T re reduced the depression behaviors with a single dose and increase in the cortisol levels until two days after intake in clinical studies. As a similar result was got in the cortisol findings, in, a, in other studies with health controls and depression resistant patients, salivar and plasma cortisol were measured the observed that patients with resistant depression showed low levels of cortisol in the early morning. When they received OASCA, they showed the same levels and health controls. This study performed with six patients. 
with different degrees of depression. <clears throat> Alive, they used Oaxaca, and they had statistically significant reduction of up to 82% in the depression x scores in the Hamilton and the Montgomery hating schools of depression as no HMD and mothers. This reduction were observed between the baselines values and one, seven, and 21 days. After the administration of Hoasca tea. Conclusion of this study, this result suggested that Hoasca has fast antidepressant effects in patients with depression disorder. For last, I present the double blind study done with 35 patients. This study is authored by President Fernanda Palhano and is the results resemble the previous studies we could observe significant antidepressant effects of OASCA with one single dose compared to placebo and at all times. Conclusion. Hoasca T seems to improve astrocytic functions and balancing cortisol in depression, showing a promising research tool for psych psychopharmacology. Reference. Thanks for your attention. Uh, I am grateful to Centro Espírita Beneficente União do Vegetal, LAPSIT, NPDM, CAPES e, and to Federal University of Ceará.